this deal is, is a further uh, landmark or milestone within the development of our franchise. Um, it's a bigger transaction. Uh, it allows us to um, to ramp up our business and uh, and to show that uh, that we're able to advise on complex. So Xavier, regarding the Euro 35 million deal, what challenges were you faced with during the negotiations? Um, that was a, a challenging transaction. Uh, one one of the biggest challenge was to. Um, uh, to advise that, that demanding client. Uh, we'd been fortunate enough to, uh, to work for the client in the past for a 15 million deal, which was refinanced into this bigger transaction. Um, uh, the, the, the challenge was also to, to roll this transaction into that, uh, that, that former uh, uh, smaller transaction into that, that bigger transaction. So in effect, uh, it meant that we had to swap one uh, previous issuance into a first tranche of the second issuance. And that made, that made the transaction complex. Um, our paying agents, uh, was, it was the first time for our paying agents, uh, that kind of, of transaction. And um, we're very happy that we've been able to, uh, to succeed in the, in the completion of that, uh, of that issuance. So what makes you stand out from your competitors? Um, we like to say that uh, we're, we're a young team. Uh, we are, uh, you know, the, the, the motto of the bank is innovative banking, and um, uh, we, we perfectly fit with that within that definition. Um, we're able to, um, to advise on, on, on complex transactions, uh, wide geographical reach, um, and so we're active in restructuring, M&A, private debt, and private equity. Um, so able to, to provide uh, a good quality advice uh, uh, on, uh, on, on all these issues uh, in Asia, Europe and, uh, and the Middle East. That's, that, that, that clearly differentiates us uh, from, from our competitors on the Geneva marketplace. We are a, a, a team of uh, uh, 10 people uh, fully dedicated to that activity um, and uh, uh, we're able to um, due diligence, execute fully uh, one transaction, um, that, that is clearly a differentiation factor also. So how has this deal affected the corporate advisory structuring? This deal is, is a further uh, landmark or milestone within the development of our franchise. Um, it's a bigger transaction, uh, it allows us to, um, to ramp up our business and, uh, and to show that uh, that we're able to advise on complex, larger transaction. Um, and we're, we're now in the process of advising on, on, on 50 million uh, bond issuance, uh, 130 million at the moment also. Um, so it clearly shows that, um, that our, our business is, is developing and expanding. And we're really happy about that at the moment. We have a, a, a very good momentum. How important is development of corporate advisory structuring for rail? Uh, corporate advisory and structuring is, is important in the, in the development of rail because it stands alongside other business lines of the bank. Uh, so, as you know, the bank is active in private banking, uh, in asset management, multifamily office, and more recently in asset services and corporate advisory. Um, the development of our franchise allows the group to provide to provide its clientele, uh, mainly made of entrepreneurs, um, a one-stop shop uh, in order to deal with, with uh, many uh, services and, and teams and competences at the same time. Thank you, Xavier, for joining us in our studio. It's been a pleasure speaking with you today. Thank you. And thank you at home for watching. Don't forget you can get more programmes by clicking on our channel. Goodbye for now.